Yoro you try. Praise the Lord. Ngai kuble fi we pi we ki nong pet ha ganega por momenta. And greetings to all of you who are watching us and listening to us. Ba kum ha ganega por ke momenta. That in times such as this. Hey ba unoi to lu pao amasuang. Where the prophet Amos says. Bangga sa poi ke por. There'll be a time. Bangga sa don ke chingkerdo. There'll be a famine. Om ke chingkerdo e ukpu. Not of bread. Handro ye ka ktien. But of hearing the word. Ngiyo i ya kata hakum gini ki por menta. And this is what we see in times such as this. Ngiyo i wa bun ki yeng mani ki kang. Where we see many churches are closed. Hey ba. Ki briw ki kwa ek banlit jeseng hanri ka jeseng ka kang. Where many people do want to go to church but are not able. Namar ba hakum gini ka por menta om sya bang gini ya lum lang. Because we know that in times such as this we are not allowed to come and gather together. Hanri ki aingo yo blay pa. But we thank God. Baka potent ministry pa. That through the potent ministry. Dang la ban bet ye ka tin chong blay. We are still able to sow the word. Ni pa sem la ter kong ban ngila ban ong hak ba kenjam an sem. We have not dried up in the spirit. Han ring ngi dang long hi ki ba dang ye dap da ka tin. But we are still filled with his word. But ha ga ni ka por. And in this time. Ni kwa ban ni sam bat phi. What I would like to share with you. Ka dai na ki sam ar ku lai de khot ka ban ngkom. It's from Psalm 23, first verse. But when Shim, you get a cut, you're going to cover the tongue sheet. And we will take only half of this verse. But when Don get jingly, when when book. And there'll be a question I will put before you. But when you wait, 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 my piggy, don't pay the money. Yet you're not there. How come you're not poor, man? Ta. And I would like you to seek yourself. Come on, Paul, who wants to yet laugh? He don't know. I'm going to change it. As Paul says, seek yourself if you are in faith or not. But can you get a card or a crayon? You get a bag in yet you are there. And this is the verse that asks us to seek. Not too many get a card. Can you get a board? Mangi baro ni la lendet. And I'm sure that every one of us know this verse. Ko ang kum ni ni get a card. Which says, "U try ulong ulong ap lang baro jonga." The Lord is my shepherd. Na so tu mat ba bang apuli ni get a card? Kapa ang u try ulong ulong ap lang baro jonga. And I'm really happy to hear and read this verse says that my Lord is my shepherd. Kabmut hangi don arbenta. Here we see it is divided into two. Utrai long long ab lang brot. The first, the Lord is my shepherd. Baar kakren ru shapangi jonga. And second, the Lord is my shepherd. Kabmut nga ngadei lang brot. Which means that I am the sheep. Kani di ke jingkeli ba. But this is the question. Hato utrai uday ne am unong ap lang brot jong pi. Is God really your shepherd? Hato pi pi day ne am bersisha ki lang brot ki jong u. And are you truly his sheep? Namalada ngi ngim day ki lang brot ki jong u. For if we are not his sheep, u umday unong ap lang brot jong apa jong pi? He will not be our shepherd. Lada unday unong ap lang brot jong apa jong pi? Mangi ngi day ban day ki lang brot ki jong u. So if he is our shepherd, it means that we have to be his sheep. But lada ngim pan day ki lang brot jong u ngi num lar uban kam kinti ya ki jing kular ki jong u. And if we are not his sheep, we will not be able to proclaim all his promises. Namar po bun si ngi ngim day ki lang brot. For many times we are not the sheep. Harang ngi kmi pat mo u unday unong ap lang brot jong i. But still we expect that God be our shepherd. Ngi kmi po try u lay e yang i. We expect that God will do something for us. Harang try u bo e yang anig a jingkali. But God here puts this question. Hato nga day mga amo unong ap lang brot jong i. He says, "Am I truly your shepherd?" Yo ngi ngim day si siya na ki lang brot ki jong u. Or can it be that I am or we are not his shepherd? Haga ko asma ka jong yo anes kal nong ka ba si po. Haga ko pa niyo ka ong kum ne na mar ka ta u jisu u ang pat. Haki si siya si siya nga ong hapi ba nga nga long ka jing kang jong ki lang brot. For the word of God says from John chapter 10 verse 7. Then Jesus said to them again, Most assuredly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. But had a cut kaba kung dai u ang. And verse nine says. Nga nga long u tau jing kang. I am the door. U Jesus hang ne u yan u door le de ban ang mga nga de tau jing kang. And Jesus himself compared to a door. But kadi ka jing kang kaba mo u nong ablang bro. And this door which signifies to be the shepherd. Aba u Jesus de u nong ablang bro. And if Jesus is the shepherd. Ngi ngi besut ha u. And we enter into him. But habang ibusut ha u ngi don ka jingker men na u. And when we enter into him, we have a hope. Kahitin ka jong bulay ka ang kita ki ba apker men how try kim jule rain buko haki sam arbusan dapat balay. And the word of God also gives us hope, saying that those who trust in God will never be ashamed. Haga kosma jong Lucas nong ba katsan ka kano sa pangulang berat balajano. And even in the gospel according to Luke, it says that. 
talks about seeking those lost sheep. For when the shepherd goes seek his lost sheep, he gets him and puts him into his shoulder. But here we have this question. It may be that we are not his sheep. Or it can be that we are the astray sheep. Now I do not know whom do but I see. And where do you stand? For if you are his sheep, amen and thank God for that. But if you are that sheep who has gone astray, this is the time where God wants to is seeking you. Or it can also be that you are not his sheep. Try one one room but besut hanga. But God here calls you saying come and enter into me. So I can be your shepherd. But here we have another question that arises. Now how can we be his sheep? How can I enter into him? How can God find me? That is the question. But the Bible gave us. And the Bible tells us about this. How can we come and be the sheep? And we will only take this one point. But and this is just to bear an example that is from First King. But hangne pin shem japang new shakuri jong blay uba kerteng u Elijah. And here we will find about the servant of the Lord called Elijah. Mentang idon hangani kenem sniu. This is a time where we have come into a famine. But ngisu tu uba kenem sniu kalong kumno. And we also understand how a famine is. But ngisu tu ru nong shun jungi uba long bakumno. And now we also understand who our enemy is. Yo, tau nong shun jungi ya uba kah takhmat jungi kamla ban yo i. And our enemy is he whom we cannot see. But his name has already brought fear into us. For we fear that we might contract this disease. And this is what Paul says in Corinthians. For what you see is not real, but what you do not see is real. And now we understand that the enemy, the one that we cannot see, can enter into us. But And when he enter into us, he will not even ask for permission. But he enter into us. But ulong si siapat. And he, it is real. Upen jot but upen yap yengi. And it destroys and kills us. Tau de unong shun nanta. And that is the enemy. But kani kawan ra na mar bang iti ng unong shun ngihap bang siyong hayin. And this has brought to a time where we are afraid of him and we have been locked down in our own homes. Kajing yada kaday habang inang bang siyong hayin. And our only protection is if we are able to see him. Kawan ra ro haka bakin jaman si him. And it also bring in our spiritual life. That our protection only comes when we enter into the Lord. We do not know how sin has entered into us. But we see that sin has destroyed us. And sin also And it also has been written that when the enemy comes and strikes not just to destroy us but to kill as well. And this is something to be feared. And we are all afraid of this. That is why we keep ourselves protected. And we enter into our homes. We are in our homes. But thank God that you are able to hear this word. He asks us if I am your shepherd. And he asks us, are you my sheep? But Now how do we come to be his sheep? The Bible tells us This was a time of famine during Elijah. Three and a half years of drought. But Elijah And Elijah as a servant of God, he obeyed whatever God told him. 
The word of God says while Elijah was still there in Gilead. U tengah uju wonra khpu ya u janmet ban mestap. The one who came and fed him morning and evening was a crow. But kaktin ke jong blei hadin ke tuat ne por. And after time passed. Tin jong blei ke ong ba u blei u ong yu Elijah ba un mi no nang ta. Where God told Elijah to move away from there. Ba un lei no shapo sarapat. So he will move away to Sarafat. But hang ta ka don ke riu kan taiban basa yu. And then there was a widow who fed him. But had ba u Elijah u la poi hapo Sarafat. Now when Elijah had come into this place, Ulaya Shem yakni Gabriel, bagani Gabriel kadang tam ding pro. And this was a time where Elijah met this widow and while this widow was collecting or gathering sticks, hanta kala Shem yuni. There she met him. But haba Elijah Ulaya Shem yaka. And now when Elijah met this widow, hadin jo kata upan um. After that he asked for water to drink. Kakai. She gave him. Nama Elijah open kongo be ya kaktin jong blei blei lo ong yang ni kabri ban besai u. For Elijah came here obeying the word of God saying that this woman will feed him. But kin kin ma ka ni dei ka ai ka ka bad don kam ha ka jinglong jong kilang brot. And you will have to understand here this is something very very important that we need to understand the characteristic of a sheep. Ne ka jinglong ki banget ki jong i. Or we can say the character of a believer. Ke jinglong bangai jongi la da kam don ke jing kongo ya ublei wat la da haba ke jing perkat jongi ka ong da kum wei. For even the character of a believer, we are not able to obey the word of God even when our mind says something else. But la da ngim la ban pen kongo ha ke da ke por. And while we are not able to humble ourselves and obey his word. Ke bamut ngim pat de ki lang prat ki jong u. It means that we are not yet his sheep. Sao dong sao kut jong wan lai ja ke don ke nem sniu. And all around Elijah there was famine and drought. Where even the river dried up. And Elijah claimed to get banpan um nang ni Gabriel. But here Elijah did not stop from asking water from this widow. Namar bhai. Why? Ma u claim sham la sharia ha ni Gabriel. For it was not that he trusted this woman. And u u la sharia u ta u bala pa ya u. But he trusted the one who had sent him. Ha kum ni Gabriel. In times such as this. Ni sharia ya no. Whom do you trust? Pishanya, you tau try ubala penlong ya pi. Do you trust the God who had created you? Ne pishanya pio i ya ke i ke saudong ke saukut ke jong pi. Or you believe in things that are happening around you? But na mar kini ke i pi yo i. And because of the things that you see, ya ke jak no ya ke jinglong man siem jong pi. It soaks away all your believingness. But the Bible ke batai kini ke brio. And here the Bible tells us about the widow. She brought water. Upan pat yo kpu. And later Elijah asked for some bread. Can you give me a batai ke jing sisha? And here the widow said what was true. Kau ngadon tang si kam. She said I only have a morsel of bread. Ngam tep kan ngut ki bapet hangane ke por fe dan stang si kam upuro haki sang ki jong pe. Now I do not know how many of you watching us say that I only have morsel left. Ngam da ni eshu. And I'm left with nothing else. Pim nang shu ban perkat la sai ke si. For you do not know or not able to think of tomorrow. Pio i ke jing terkong sudah. And you only see dryness. Mau ngi fi kong kene kapor, wat na fi siang hai yeng pila sa rambat. And I know that even in time as this, while you are still at home, you are still carrying the burden of debts. Pim le yeh na karam ngeladan. You are not doing anything, but you are under debts. Baro. All. Pio i ya ke jing terkong hari ngi yu i do bakaram ke sedang ban sen syarpat. And we see there is dryness everywhere, and we are under debts. But baro ki brio ki perkat ngin lek kumno hadin jong ane. And all the people now are thinking, what do I do after this? But ngitip baka perthai kanum long show kumju shua bangi rung hagan ega nems niyo. And I'm sure that everybody understand this that even if we are out of this lockdown, things will not be the same as it was always. Namar balai. Why? Ngau fi ka bon ki jing kela ki ladan. Because many things are going to change and has already changed. Gila yo i ya kata. We have already seen. But haba kene ke brio ke batai ya ke jing sisha. And now even this widow said about the thing that was true. Elijah Ukraine ya ka wong. But Elijah said to her. Wan lam sha yang akin dia. He said to her, "Bring to me." Manong ye fi. Ketin ke jong blei gong. Now the word of God tells us. Yes a pai biang kene ke nuksa. We'll come back to This word again later. Ini pet hang ni ke por nak gospel jong Johannes nong ke ben rio. Now when we look at the word from gospel according to John chapter 6. Ha ke khot ke pasan. In verse 5. Ha bau Jesu te ulak kemit ya laki kemat bat ulai yo i ba upai ba ba bun u wan ha u u ong ha u pelep nang nong in tit kpu ba kini kinbam. 
Then Jesus lifted up his eyes and seeing a great multitude coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? And verse 6. But this he said to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Maybe this is a time where God is testing you and I. God already know what he would do. But yet he told Philip, Where shall we buy bread? Where do we buy bread from? This is what God questions. Maybe God is asking you and I as well, Are you my sheep? And you tell me that I am your shepherd, but are you my sheep? For I tell you, if we are his sheep and he is our shepherd, we know all things. What happened? That even in times such as this, while we are facing famine, God is still there. But God already knows about you and I. But still he tests us. Just like Elijah had tested this widow. But can he Gabriel? And this widow. She was an Israelite. She was the daughter of a promise. And we can also tell that we are Christians. But it can also be that we are facing tests in this time. And I thank God that at times such as this, this widow had obeyed. And yet there is a question. Do we as well obey? While the churches were open, we were too lazy to enter into it. We kept on saying to ourselves, I will go. But now that we see the churches are closed, and we do not know when this family will end, when can as believers come together again? We don't know. And in times such as this, we do not have any answer to such questions. But we are not just a straight like that in this time. For the word of God has already answered. But many times, like sheep, we do not take heed. For we are like those sheep who has gone astray. Or it can be that we have not been his sheep. But how do we come to be his sheep? It is only by obeying him. Where we listen to him. And say, Lord, I believe and I humble myself. I throw away all my sins. And I promise to stand firm and faithful with you. I will not turn back. I will not take this life for granted. For it is not a coincidence that I am alive, but this is a gift from you. And we forget this. But I know you blame. And I give thanks to God. Like Paul says in Thessalonians. In all things give thanks. This is the time that we give thanks Yes, when we see around us, we are really drying up. All around us, we are surrounded by fear. But even in times such as this, we see the work of God. We still see His love. We still see that He is looking after us. And seeking us what do we do in time of That is 
That's why James says. Wang tu nyo jing kemen sudah habab hihap habi bun jat kijing tunjo. That you will count all joyful when you come under test. Kadai reka por baka pertehi bar kowe kahap habi jing tunjo. This is a time where the whole world is under affliction. Madu try ukmi. And the Lord looks after us. Madu Jesus ang galatip yake bangang ada iban le. And he already knows and says, I know what am I going to do. Someone has put this question saying, if there truly does exist God, why has this happened? But God already knows the time that he will work. Just because you put a question doesn't mean that God will work. For God is not under us, but we are under him. And in this place, here the widow came to Elijah and poured out her heart saying the things that she had been facing. But Elijah yet he said, bring the bread to me first. That is why Jesus also said in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. We will seek his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added. Many times we come and pour out our heart and heart. But God says, seek me. Try one what yang akan mengadang hajan di pinjam. And God says, seek me while I am still near. Yo, babun, tapi inong pe pinjukan mau ben what yo blay. Maybe the ones who are listening and watching us, you have not been seeking. Pidang buat kecikli kumnungan doai. And you keep this question saying, I don't know how to pray. How do I pray? Ngong ngepi ben doai kadi kecingi kren kejong pi ben doblay. And I tell you, prayer is something that you speak to God. Kikon kim dan kamen perkat kumno ben ikren ben imei pa. For children do not have to think too much to speak to. Kalung kum joru ukpa bahab benang jongi umkua bentip kumno bengi duai re ukua bengin wan akmat jong ogeng bengin nikeran batu haki jing duai. And this is the same thing with God, our heavenly Father. He doesn't seek our prayer, but He wants us to come before Him. Ukua bengin wan kum kita gilang berat bengin besut ha ogeng. He wants us to come and enter into Him. Yo fi patju besut ha utrai. Maybe you have never entered into Christ. Yo fi dek gilang berat kibala jahan hok pisim sting gila kajong kajing em. Maybe you have taken your life for granted and have become those sheep who has gone astray. And you say nothing has happened to me. But now you see. For this is a time that God is really loving you. And he asks you to come back and return to And he says, leave away your past life. For all the things that you have trusted cannot help you in such time. It is only I who can help you. It is only I who will guide you. It is only I who will lead you. For here this widow had lost all her hope and she said, I will eat and keep my and many are still saying the same thing as this widow, saying we will die. But remember, Jesus is there. You will not die. If you turn to him. Now here Philip also lost his hope when Jesus questioned him, where do we buy bread from? But Jesus had already known about this child. I want to tell you. Where you have been seeking your help will come. It may not come from there. For our help only comes from the Lord. And the Lord already knows how to help us. If we are His. Those 5,000 because they were with Jesus. Jesus knew about them. So the same way, if you are with Jesus, Jesus will know about you. But if you are not with Jesus, that you are just repeating the words from Psalms 23, saying that the Lord is my shepherd, you keep on repeating that. But God says, Oh my child, you are not my sheep. And if we are not the sheep, we will not be able to take 
and stand on this promise. And the word of God says, where the verse ends with the word saying, I shall not want. I shall not want. For if the Lord is my shepherd, my shepherd, I shall not want. But if we are not his sheep, Maybe we are a Christian only for day. Or you are not even a Christian. I do not know. But I want to tell you, if you are not his sheep, you will not be able to proclaim the promise saying that I shall not want, but you will lack things. You will only see that you are lacking things. But if God is your shepherd, you will see that God will provide. And why did David understand about this? For while David fled from Saul, there were 600 with him. And there was a time when even these people stood against him. And it was here that David understood this. While he was fleeing away from his enemy, Saul, who was a king, and he himself was just an ordinary man in front of him. He was just a common man. He was running away, fleeing from the king. And you eat and away. But he saw this. That he did not lack anything. Not just him. But those who were with him. That is why he wrote this psalm. This is the same for you and I. If God, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want. And we put forward before you this question. Are you his sheep? You may be the sheep who has gone astray. God says, come back to me, my child. Enter into me. For the Lord wants to carry you. For he had seen how you had been walking all by yourself and you have gone astray. But God says, let me carry you. If you want to humble yourself. You have never humbled yourself before God. You know people who obey God and humble themselves. They do not see the things that are happening around them. But they only look up to God. For they know that the answer comes from Him. And we will pray in this time. If you understand in this time. Saying, Lord, I have not been your sheep. Or you have been those sheep who had gone astray. Or maybe you were those sheep who had never obeyed God and had been disobedient. Let this be the time where you obey God and humble yourself. We'll go into prayer. Let us pray with faith. You can close your eyes and lift up your hands. We will pray. And we want you to say this prayer after us. Lord Jesus, I come before you to give you thanks for you are seeking me. I have been lost, but you have found me. Lord, I had not been your sheep, but on this day I come Bring myself to be your sheep. Forgive my sins. Lord, many times I had been disobedient. You had spoken to me. But I never listened. I had been taking things for granted. But from this day, Lord, I will not take things lightly. I will obey and humble myself. I'll humble myself before you. Write my name, O Write my name, O Lord. In the book of life. 
I believe, Lord, that in your name there is life. And I receive that salvation on this day. For I am no longer the same person. But I become a sheep. And you be my shepherd. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Maybe in this time, there are few of you who are maybe in sickness. For we know we are all going through trouble. But we know and believe that God will pray for you. Will pray for you. Try Jesus one hand Heavenly Father Jesus, we come before you. Lord, we pray for each and every one of those who are watching us and listening. Lord, we pray for your healing. And we proclaim your healing. For by your stripes, Lord, they are healed. Lift up, O Lord, all their lackness. And we pray in this time that you open their spiritual eyes that they may see the blessings in their lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray and bless. Amen. Amen. The Lord will bless you.